They're just little fish. Huh? You're trying to sit on a steelhead. <laughs> Better leave me a couple. Let's see one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Got him. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> Just watch him come up and eat your flies. Yeah. Oh, he took the black one. Took the leech. Cool. Hey, these fish are freaking amazing. I guess. Some hungry fish. Look at that. That's that. Shoot. 11 inch. Look at all that pink. Jeez. Well, we hiked around to this somewhat wind sheltered point and we were setting up i'm not sure if we'd see fish or not and there were just a whole bunch of these brook trout just cruising around here so a bit of chop on the water just giving the fly some action and the water is so clear you can see them swim up and eat them here comes one here comes another nope It's the first time I've ever fished a uh, balanced leech before, doing a, a black squirrel balanced leech, size 12. Here we go. Oh, darn it, I'm not fast enough. Got to set on him quicker. So you can see him come up from the bottom. He hit my indicator. Did he? You better fish it dry then. leech for the win. And of course I didn't bring my holster. Oh, what's this, a rainbow? No. Is this a brook too? Ooh, this came up with it. Super cute. Here we go, here we go. Came up for the Indian and then he went down, but <laughs> little brook trout jumping all over the place. 
Oh, that was a bigger one out there. There's one. There you go. See you later. I think that's four. <laughs> Tangled. There's oh jeez. Didn't get the hook in that one. Well, if we were backpacking tonight, we wouldn't go hungry. <laughs> I was going to cast and one followed it up to the surface. These things are aggressive. There's one. Dang. Getting played by these guys. Heck. It's like one got on the hook and another one like chased him. These things are just so pretty. Dang. Five. Oh geez. That one ate the indicator. <laughs> Ooh, got that one on the Frenchie. Sweet. Look at all that pretty detail. Man. Here we go, here we go. Got him. <laughs> yep. Saw him come on up. Yes. Sick. I'm on the X Caddis. Crushing it over there. Might have to copy you. Dude, that one took the freaking indicator. And then he hooked up on something else. Well, this is a decent fish. This one took the, the brown leech. So weird that they're eating the indie. 
See you later. Jeremy was experimenting. The nymphing game was really, really pretty easy, so we started experimenting. He put on a streamer, and that just kind of turned them all back on again. So, got this little black jig sculpin. Excuse me, it's not a sculpin, just a jig streamer. Had a few bites off camera. Alright, so we've hiked down off of Rua Lake. We're on Long Lake here. And uh, we're gonna see what we can accomplish. Saw this nice point when we hiked in. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. I had a super fun time up with Sierra Nevada Mountain with Jeremy Fishing. We started hiking up the Bishop Pass Trail and we ended up at about 11,000 feet where we found this lake. Uh, it wasn't a super long hike, but it was definitely uphill. I think we had about 2,000 feet of vert to get there. But anyway, the fishing was crazy as you saw. I mean, we were setting up our rods and you know putting our flies on, make, trying to make decisions on how we were gonna fish. And there they were just on the side of the bank, just cruising along, fish everywhere. and. They basically ate everything we offered them. For me, the hot fly was a black leech, but Jeremy later put on a, a sculpin pattern and was whacking them on streamer. So basically the fish were super eager to eat as would kind of be the case at these alpine lakes because the fish are very opportunistic. It was pretty windy up there. So rather than fling my monorig into the wind, I basically would put on a tapered leader on my normal fly line and cast it like, you know, like a regular fly fisherman. But uh, that seemed to work fine. It didn't have to cast very far. The fish were literally cruising 10 to 15 feet or maybe 20 feet, you know, two rod lengths off the bank. So super easy fishing, super fun. I mean, basically we would fish a spot and then we caught most of the fish there and we just moved 15, 20 feet down the bank and then we'd catch, you know, 10, 15 more. I mean, I got maybe 15 to the net. Jeremy smoked me. He got like 30, 40 to the net. But uh, they were all decent sized fish. They were probably, you know, 10 to 12 inches, most of them. And they all had this super bright pink uh, belly and, and pectoral fins. Uh, they were just super gorgeous fish. So, you know, just those big mountain views, those epic peaks that were 13,000 feet, 14,000 feet. There were a few 14ers off in the distance, but those epic views, crystal clear water, the beautiful brook trout. It was just an amazing experience. So thanks for coming along on that adventure with us. I'm probably going to be adding that black leech and maybe some other colors to the shop eventually. So look for that. It's not in there right now but it's going to come. I just got to get it 
dialed in a little bit more and then get some pictures and get it listed. So look for that at driftstone.co slash shop. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not. And until next time, everybody, I'll see you on the water. Godspeed.